end of the year, what are you going to do? Go for holiday, take a break. Oh yes, but I think we also need to start to plan for tax planning. Yes, tax planning. And that's why today I'm going to talk about contributing to SRS. This video, I will talk about what is SRS, what can you do with SRS, and three steps to invest your SRS funds. So what is SRS? SRS means Supplementary Retirement Scheme. So SRS complements CPF, it's voluntary. This means that you can choose to contribute any cash amount to your SRS account and it's totally up to you. Then why would anyone wants to contribute SRS? Three reasons. One, tax saving. Every dollar that you deposit into your SRS account reduces your taxable income by a dollar. So let me just illustrate this with a calculator by UOB Bank. I think it's very useful to let you understand how much tax savings that you're going to receive. This is a page from UOB Bank. For example, your annual income is 100000 and your personal tax relief is 9000 But you want to contribute to SRS and the maximum contribution is 15300 for Singaporeans and PR. So if you do a calculation where if it is with SRS, then you do have a tax saving of 34% versus if you do not have SRS. Each year, Singaporeans and PR can contribute at any time and as often as you like, but subject to a maximum of fifteen thousand three hundred. For foreigners, it's thirty five thousand seven hundred. But to, to be but to be eligible for SRS tax relief next year, the contribution has to be made by thirty first December this year. But note that some SRS operators they might need you to make the contribution earlier. Like for example, for DBS Bank, uh, you need to do that before thirtieth December seven pm. Now, the second reason of contributing to SRS is because of tax-free investment gain. You can invest your SRS funds in unit trusts, insurance plans, stocks, ETF, REITs, Singapore saving bonds, and others. The investment returns are tax-free before withdrawal, and only 50% of the withdrawal from SRS are taxable at retirement. And of course, third is the flexibility to withdraw. You have the flexibility to withdraw from an SRS account before the statutory retirement age. And if you do withdraw earlier, then there is a 5% penalty unless the withdrawal is made under exceptional circumstances such as death or medical grounds. And how do you contribute to SRS? You need to go to the three SRS operators, namely DBS, POSB, UOB, and OCBC, and you open SRS account. And you do you can easily do that online. You can also visit the branch to open an SRS account. Then you can transfer your money from your normal savings account to the SRS account. And this is how you contribute to your SRS as easy as that. And do you need to lodge with IRAS whether you have contributed to SRS? No, the SRS operator will just report to IRAS and your contribution will be automatically reflected when you do your tax filing. And what are the three steps that you can do to invest your SRS funds? One, you open an SRS account. And that's, uh, I said already, with the three operators, DBS, UOB, and OCBC. Second, remember, you need to first link your SRS account to your brokerage account. Because if you don't link, then you don't see an option to buy with your SRS funds. So how do you link that? Just give your reminder a call and tell them that you will want to link your SRS account and give your SRS account to your reminder. Or there are some platforms that allows you to do that automatically in the brokerage uh, platform. Lastly, you execute your trade. And how do you do that? It's as if you're buying your shares, your ETF or your REITs normally. But there's an indication now when you link your SRS account to your brokerage account that you want to buy these with your SRS funds. And easy, you can buy things like stocks, your ETFs, um, your REITs. For investors who are thinking about what to buy with SRS, then in the next video that I'm going to launch, I'll, I'll be talking about what are the possible things that you might want to invest with SRS. So I come to the end of this very simple video. The whole idea is that we need to do our tax planning and SRS would be one form for you to look into, especially if you are using it to reduce your taxable income. And number two is that because your SRS fund still belongs to you, you can use it to invest. So I come to the end of this video. Uh, if you 
like me to discuss anything about investment with SRS or for long-term investment, do let me know and I will talk about it. And remember to hit the subscribe button because this is the channel where I talk about how to invest, how to grow your money and as well as how to day trade.